It is so nice to see the four of you, CNCO, all together. You know, you were together for seven years and now it's time to go on a new journey. How has everything been for you guys? It's been crazy, pretty it's been, it's been, uh, it's been like a roller coaster of emotions, to be honest. Um, but at the end of the day, we feel, we feel really positive of this, of what we're doing right now. We feel like it's the right move. We feel like uh, at the end of the day, we all gonna make it. I feel a hundred percent that. So, Amen. of course you are. We're 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 como como se dice tranquilo. Uh, You're peace. calm. In peace, in calm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zabi, I see you smiling big. How are you feeling about this next chapter? I feel great. I mean, we feel great. Um, it's like a mix of, of emotions because. You know, we we've been so we've been together so many years, and the only way we we know the the industry is together. You know, mm -hmm. um, but it's at the same time it's super exciting, like start something new and start new project project. Um, so I don't know, kind of excited, honestly. Eric, tell me, did you think that this was always the plan? Was it was it the plan to make history with CNCO and then? go off on your individual directions yeah for sure since like the first minute i mean we work um to be like the best you know we like um dream super uh, big big um since the beginning and we knew also that um every band you know half an end because that's like you know the, the normal yeah know? that's life that's yeah life. that's life exactly mm -hmm. and richard you're just straight up chilling you're wearing your sunglasses yeah. You look like you're just chilling. How do you feel about this? Are you at peace? Yeah, exactly. I'm just chilling, you know, I'm kind of just um, enjoying the process. You know, I feel like we're all just kind of just trying to enjoy the process and and just, you know, enjoy. give the best energy throughout our music and everything that's going to happen, you know, uh, at least till the day comes, you know, but we have so much things to do. So, uh, yeah, man, just enjoy. I want to go back really quickly to Premios Juventud. Chris, you're on stage and you mm. said that you didn't have the words. You you really didn't know how to tell the CNC owners that this was about to to come out. Pero tenemos una noticia super importante que darles. Eh, no sabíamos cómo decírselos. What was that day like? Were you nervous about how they'd react? A thousand percent. It was to be honest when we said when we said it, it was like a big backpack, like a huge backpack just put it on the side because it was like a big weight that we had that mm. night because we re really? we received what well, we had the, the announcement of the of the uh, award before our presentation i think it felt correct to do it there because it was the award for best fandom and uh, and it was like a big spotlight so we decided to do it there and then everything happened you, i think that everything happens for a reason so yeah that day i was so nervous yeah. that once like sabiel um say the announcement <laughs> i see the video and i'm laughing and i'm like but this is supposed to be serious so yeah. <laughs> i was like you know smiling for like a uh, reason. Mm -hmm. now that the announcement is out there and fans have had like a month to sit with the news how do you think your fans are feeling it's been chilling i feel like our fans um that's why we love our fans you know i feel like they have a good uh sense of humor and they know how to also take certain you know announcements and stuff like that like this serious you know and it's just been positive reactions you know i feel like everybody is kind of understanding where we're at in our life you know and and as you said you know that's life you know it all has a beginning and an end richard i want to ask you a question you know I, I love getting updates on your beautiful daughter Aaliyah. now that you're all going in separate directions does that mean that she gets a little more time with dad at home is that something that you're looking forward to I hope so, you know, but I know I have to work a lot. So um, it's more about kind of like, you know, uh, finding Balancing. that balance. But mm -hmm. I feel like now I could like after this, you know, it's going to be a little bit more manageable. My time is going to be a little bit more manageable, you know, yeah. Yeah, so I could spend time with her and stuff. I want to ask all of you if you can think of one specific moment in CNCO history that you really felt the most proud. Richard, let's start with you. When we were nominated for the Grammys, I believe that was like, for mm. me, it was like, mm. you know, like an accomplishment. Yeah. You know? Even though we didn't get that Grammy, but it was yeah, like, just you know, being we nominated. got a nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, and, and we were just young too. Like we were like five years in or four years in. No, even less. I think it was with the first album. Yeah. So yeah, it crazy. it, it's crazy to like, you know, for me, it was like a, like a dream come true. And I didn't believe it in the, in the beginning, but like now that I sit down and think about it, like look back and I'm like, oh, like we were nominated for a Grammy and we did all this stuff. So 
super cool to think about that. I think a really special moment was um, the MTVs. Um, mm. We had uh, the yeah. VMAs. Yeah. yeah the VMAs. When you're jumping on the cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that performance I think was one of like the craziest. And we and got to get a woman, man. Exactly, exactly. It's when we went to Asia, mm. and we see like people learning Spanish to be able to talk with us, like our fans. You know, like they was trying to learn English so they can like have a conversation with mm -hmm. us. And I think that was really beautiful because I don't, I don't know, like be able to share our culture. Mm. Um, that far is like really crazy. You know, for me, I would say personally, I really loved when we, the first time we got in my country, in Ecuador. Mm. That when was we crazy. literally step out of that, that airport, like literally the, 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 when you get your luggage and you just step out, we saw this massive amount of people outside just waiting for us and it's my country and everybody, you know. And that like, was like the first time that we kind of got time. received. Like, yeah. Such a big deal. And I'm yeah. so, so, so excited. We yeah. still got an album. We've got a tour. We've got a Disney Plus show. I want to start with the album XOXO. <laughs> What was the inspiration for this album, Richard? It's more kind of to show that, you know, that the stage that we're doing, uh, the the creation, creative stage that we're in, you know, because this album was, you know, mostly written by us and and some of the songs were produced by uh, Zab, you know, mm -hmm. so, so it's cool. cool. Yeah, so it's cool to like, kind of just, you know, uh, show this stage to, to our fans and like tell them, hey, look, this is where we're at now and we hope you guys enjoy and we hope you guys take this, this uh, journey as a celebration, not as a, you know, um, sad or anything negative or whatever, you know? So I think this 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 album is more for that, for like to show the celebration to like, and also we have more music coming out after this album too, so. More music even after the album? Yeah, yeah so yeah, this is like our say. last album and we have more uh, singles and featurings and stuff like that coming out. Plus the Disney show uh, music as well too. and stuff like that. It has a lot of soundtracks that we wrote. Then we have the tour too that we're prepping for next yeah. year. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Eric, what is the one song on XOXO that you're most excited for the CNC owners to hear? I'm really excited for all of them. Um, I think um, what is um, more cool about this album is that um, we literally like work in every single song of this album. So yeah. I think it is like um, more personal mm -hmm. um, with us. But um, I think La Duda, because like it's a song that we had for a really um, long time. Um, it has like two years with us, and, and that's a song that they produced, by the way. That I was yeah, Sabdiel yeah. um, did the, the production. Yeah, yeah. Zavdi, I want to ask you for any CNC owners out there. As you guys release all this fun new stuff, what is your message to them? First of all, thank you for all this world these all these years, um, and also that. You guys are about to see the best moment of CNCO. Mm. Um, we're gonna have a Disney show challenge. Um, show. Show. Ah, uh, Disney show. Series. Um, series. So it's gonna be like a lot of content also for you guys. Chris, my final question for you. I feel like in entertainment, there's never really an end point. You know, mm. there's still so many opportunities to do reunions, to get back on stage together, even if you're pursuing individual careers. What do you say to fans who are hoping that we might see CNCO together again someday? Yeah, a thousand percent. Like, like how we said, this is like, we're just pursuing something different personally, but that doesn't mean that we're going to be enemies or something like that. You but know, like, we can, shut, yeah. yeah, like we can, we can still work right together. We can produce together. We can do so much things together, and in the future, if we see that that it could, could like that we can do it in a proper way. Of course, we have we can do another show, another reunion, CNC or reunion in Las Vegas. We can do like a something. I don't know. Oh, a, we a can residency do some, in Vegas. Yeah, a residency <laughs> in Vegas. What?